Now, here we go. Late night review, everybody, after 1 o'clock. Um, I'm here. Hey, well, hey, my Legion. How y'all doing today? Here with my buddy, John. We're going to be reviewing a horror movie that, I mean, I have seen. I always want to see it. I never got around to seeing it, but now we finally saw it. The Orphanage from, like, 2007. Yeah, the problem is both of us kept getting confused with, like, Devil's Backbone yep. and maybe other movies that we've seen. So we thought that we saw it. Already, yeah. But neither one of us actually saw I've it. I've never seen this one. tonight. Mm. So it's really good. It's produced by Guillermo del Toro and directed by a friend of his. Um, let's see, A.J. Bayona, who's worked on the Lord of the Rings TV series. He directed Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, A Monster Calls. <clears throat> and uh, episodes of the first series of Penny Dreadful, among others. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's about, uh, it, yeah, it starts off, it shows this little girl being adopted from this orphanage. Yes. Well, at the beginning. I think it's, then I it, it's like. Yeah, keep going. So. Uh, she is now an adult. And the orphanage went on business, so her and her husband bought it to reopen it as an orphanage. And uh, her son disappears. You know, he, well, first, say, his son seems to see ghosts. And stuff, yeah. And then suddenly disappears, and they spend six months searching with them. Uh, but her husband wants to give up, but she doesn't want to. But uh, it's really good. It's I, I consider it a gothic horror movie. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, it's not uh, in the 1800s or such. Yeah. But uh, it's a gothic style horror movie. I really dug it. I really, <laughs> I really like it too. I like the exploration of the house. I like that. That's always fascinating to see all these different hidden passageways and all this other wacky. I, I really like that. Um, it's a perfect companion piece of Devil's Backbone. I don't want to keep getting a few uh, compared to. Right. Or Crimson, I mean, that and then like the was it Crimson Tide or no? It was Crimson. <laughs> Crimson Tide was a uh, yeah, submarine movie. Right. Crimson, not King Crimson or Crimson Rain, <laughs> or Castle Crimson or something like that. The Crimson one. The what? The, the, he did one of Crimson Guillermo del Toro. Oh. Right, that gothic one he did. Yeah. Uh, was it Crimson Peaks or something like that? Yeah. Let me see here. Why well, keep talking? I'll look it up. Yeah, Chris. The P- I mean, perfect triple feature. I'd probably go. May I go Crimson Peaks first? I keep getting a few to Twin Peaks. Crimson Peaks first, then Devil's Backbone, then Orphanage. I'm not saying there's no, or you could entertain Orphanage and Devil's Backbone. I'm not saying that's w- uh, worst the best, but I'm just saying that'd be like the perfect order. With, I mean, Crimson, I mean, just far, as far as the looks of a film. Right. But I think Crimson uh, had, like, the biggest budget. And then it went down on uh, the other two. It could be interchangeable. But it's a brilliant movie. Um, it had one of those types of poignant endings and stuff like that, but I didn't cry, though. I didn't get that. I mean, got to, but I, mean I, de- I definitely understood it, but I just didn't get that feeling. Uh, it's a really good film. Um. I give it a 9 out of 10. I'm glad I finally got to see it after yeah, all those years. Yeah, it was very well done. Yeah, uh, yeah I'd like to see hey, this director do more loose style movies, too. Maybe some of his... Uh, he's from Spain, so maybe some of his movies from <coughs> there are done in that style. Uh, if I don't know if you can get them in America or not, but yeah. I'd like to definitely see more of these type of horror movies. As yeah, opposed I mean, to like some of the other stuff he did. Yeah. Oh, Penny more... Dreadful. That was a really good TV yeah. series. For those that don't know about it, it's uh, a TV series where they took some of the classic mo- Universal monsters yeah. like Frankenstein. Well, you know, you know they, they weren't created by Universal, obviously. Yeah. But they had like Frankenstein. Well, I don't know if Universal did all these. But, you know, from that time period, so you had Frankenstein. You also had Dorian Gray, um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and Senator Dracula, it centers around um, Timothy Dalton from the James yeah. Bond movie. He hires this, lay, this uh, gunslinger 
uh, I forget the dude's name. He was in uh, American Pie and um, Sin City. What the hell was his name? Anyways, he plays a gunslinger. So he hires him to uh, to help try to recover his daughter, <coughs> Mina. But yeah, so it brings in some of these classic uh, horror elements of Penny Dreadful. So I really liked the, uh, that series. Yeah. It's kind of slow going. Of course, you know, this is kind of slow too. Yes. As it you know, tells the story. Uh, they're very good. You know, it's worth the wait to get to the end. It's just like, oh, yeah. You know, where's this really going to go? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I mean, I just didn't had like that type of ending though. But I just didn't, it just didn't get to me. I understood it, it just didn't get to me, get to me. Um, no, I really liked it though, like 9 out of 10. I'm definitely interested because you mentioned the Universal Monster movies. I think it'd be really cool to do like a comparison piece between Dracula and the Spanish Dracula. I still haven't seen the. Have you seen the Spanish? I've never seen the Spanish one. I would love to do, I mean, like side by side comparison. Because people said like the Spanish one's better. Right. Because they filmed that at nighttime with the, you know. At, during the same time. During the same time. Yeah. Period. So yeah, I would love to. When uh, the Bell of Ghost movie yeah. was done, these guys would go in and shoot at night. Yeah, I'd love to do a side by side comparison of both movies. That'd be great. Yeah, keep that in mind be. sometime. All yeah. these days we'll have to do that. Yeah, be, I mean, I think it's a great idea. Both. Yeah, I think it'd be a great idea doing Just, that. I bought that box set. Yeah. Of the, <laughs> I still haven't gone even through all those movies. I, I got that Universal. Jeez, how long ago was that? A while Did back. That box set yeah. of all those movies. Did it have like those busts in it? Because some, I remember. Uh, Mine didn't, more, but yeah. since then, because Greg needed money and was selling off like movies and stuff. He sold me the bus that went to his. Oh, okay. So now I have the bus and the movies. I know. That's, <laughs> I mean, that was pretty... Uh, I know because Rue Morgue said for best box that they put that there because had the bus of each movie. I mean, at least the one... And the people know was a lot of those... Um, you know, I think... Did they... They I think, no, I think they had that one just for The Invisible Man. And a lot of the comedies, the, the sequel, like Invisible Man, were comedies, though. Right. But, <laughs> Invisible... I saw Invisible Movement, a woman, and that's a lot of fun. That's a fun movie, too. I mean, the, the return of Invisible Man, I saw it at Vincent Price. I like the original one. And I like oh, Invisible what Woman, What was that one that Chevy Chase called? That was funny. Oh, um. Uh, Memoirs of Invisible Man. Yeah, Memoirs of That was John Carpenter did. I liked that movie. Yeah, well, it's, no one else liked it. I'm glad you liked it. What's funny is, uh. I don't know if you remember. How the accident happened that uh, caused the a device to go off that turned them invisible. Yeah, he spilled but, Coke and can of Coca Cola. Yeah, and yeah. what's that from? Um, uh, 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 China Syndrome. It, well, their spoof Saturday Night Live did. A oh spoof yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Saturday Night Live did a spoof. Yeah. Where. He knocked over a can of pop yep. into uh, that caused the yeah. meltdown. <laughs> oh, but I mean, I tried to send him was great too. Right. I remember mean, I saw it because Dad never wanted to say, ah, say Chad. I bet I bought it. I loved it. A lot of these old movies Dad didn't want to see or like, uh, what the hell is it? Uh, damn it. Oh, it had a theme. What the hell was it? Paul Newman and Robert Redford? The Hustle? Was it The Hustle? No, Hustle was different. The no, uh, was it The Hustler? I don't know, maybe. No, um, was it The Hustle? Or something like that. God damn it. Uh, it might be The Hustle. Do The Hustle. Shit, I got look. I'm still recording. I just have to find out what it is now. The Hustler. The Hustler. Not the magazine. Oh, yeah, The Hustler. Okay. Dad said that movie was stupid. I thought so I liked it. And I said, why do you don't like it? Because they showed it all the time. It was stupid. But that doesn't mean it's stupid if they showed it all the time. <laughs> yeah, he had, you know, it's like, I want to see the movie. Or like, Butch Cat and Sundance Kid. And then we watched it. My dad would laugh at us. Oh, I forgot this is a good movie. You said it was stupid. Okay, they showed it all the time. That didn't make any sense. Right. That's like middle logic, you know. Well, anyways, anyways, I really like the movie. Um, shit, I gotta go back. You like old gothic movies? No. Watch it. Yeah, it's really cool. So I really like the movie. Um, 
me and my buddy John. So until next time, everybody, please take care of my legion. Okay, now do the Mother's Day one.